Tom, I'm a personal trainer at the Princeton Club in New Berlin, and today I'm going to show you some exercises that involve your chest and your back using the dual cable cross machine for motion. It's a great piece of equipment that not enough people are aware of or involve themselves with. I'm going to go ahead and set this up in order for you to understand better how to do the first exercise, which is the cable chest flight lying flat on the wall. I've gone ahead and set up the exercise already. It also, this machine moves, is, moves in and out and up and down. So I'm going to set it on the number eight for the, for the, the width. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and move this down to the number 11 so that there's enough room for you to have in order to execute the, the exercise correctly. Both sides work independently, so you can do a lot of exercises independently. But I'm going to match these two sides so that when I do the exercise, I'm able to com complete it accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and have a seat here with my, with my bar right against the back of the machine. I'm going to slide forward, grab my handles, make sure that I slide on my shoulder blades. And then there's and then the, the two cables are a little bit soft so that you have to uh, the exercise and then what you do is you the beginning position is at the bottom you're stretched out so the chest gets a nice nice stretch and then on the way up you exhale and you squeeze the weight so you get a contraction in the chest and on the way back you get an expansion or an eccentric motion eccentric is out concentric is when you squeeze the exercise together so it's when you're balancing yourself, you're, you have a reverse plank, so you don't drop down too far. You have a reverse plank, you're out wide, and you squeeze together. So you're balancing, and you're strengthening, and stretching all in one. It's a great exercise, and I recommend it for anyone. Be careful and start off light. Um, the, the, the weight stack works individually as well as you can see over here. It goes up in two and a half pound increments starting at five and going very, very heavy, which most people couldn't do. Both sides work independently. Thank you very much. The next exercise that we're going to do today is the pullover for the back. I'm going to go ahead and set up the machine accordingly. Again, we're going to move this. There's a, there's a little stopper on the bottom here. You can put your foot on it. And we're going to bring it all the way to the number two. So that the number two shows, it'll be on the on the three hole, and the other side's going to be set up the same way. And then we're going to bring the weights up this way. So it's on the number five. Both sides again, because it works independently if you want it to, up on the level five. I'm going to go ahead and start off a little bit further out in front of me. Go ahead and grab the handles, slide forward so that I'm doing the reverse plank again. I'm controlling everything with my shoulders here, my balance, and I'm just going to do a pullover straight over, just like this one. Nice long stretch, and then a pullover. It hits your obliques, it hits your lats, it hits your traps, and it hits your front deltoids as well. It's a great exercise. You want that reverse plank so you're up a little bit. And you just do a pullover right past your hip. It's a good stretch and expansion, so you're inhaling on the eccentric motion, and the concentric, concentric motion is you're breathing out. Eccentric is you're breathing in. Just like this, it's a great exercise. And I recommend it for almost anyone. Thank you. The next exercise that we're going to take part in is an exercise for the abdominals and the obliques. The central part of your abdominals. And what we're going to do today is we're going to balance on the ball and we're going to do some, some exercises that way. We're going to go ahead and adjust this machine again. We're only going to use one handle on one side today in this exercise. We're going to bring this down so it's about even. So it's about even with, uh, with your waistline. This I'm going to go 
go ahead and have a seat. You're going to line up so that you're behind the machine as it sits this way. You're going to grab the handle. You're going to slide flat on your back. Do a reverse plane. And you're going to pull right across your body. So you're going to reach. Come straight across. The goal is to try and make it come straight across your body. What I like to do is grab it for a few repetitions grabbing my right hand first and coming across my body and then switching it and going to the other side, the other hand. Believe it or not, it, it works the body slightly differently. It's a nice stretch and it's a good squeeze and it works the midsection great. You would turn around and do the opposite side so that you would match. That's the exercises for today and thank you very much.